Hello and welcome to another Excel Tips video. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video, I am going to show you how you can use table structured references as a source in data validation to create a drop down list. So here I have this table and the name of this table is called data. So you can see here, I have named this data and you can give your table any name you want. And then here I have this column for the regions and I want to create a drop down list for these regions. Now, if I just try and use the structured reference, so let me show you what is going to be the structured reference for this column. So if I select all these cells, you'll see that it refers it the name of the, the structured reference of this column is data and then regions in square bracket, which means data is the name of the table and then regions is the name of the column. So this is going to always refer to these, uh, these names. And if my table expands or contracts, this is going to automatically adjust. Now, if I try and use this to create a drop down list, see what happens. Let me go to the data tab and here I'm going to click on the data validation icon and here in this list, I'm going to select list and in source, I'm going to use the structured reference. And now when I click OK, you'll see that it doesn't allow me to create that drop down list. Now, if for some reason I cannot use a, a range reference, I want to use a structured reference of a table, then let me show you three workarounds to do that. So the first workaround to use structured references within data validation list is by using the indirect function. So here, let me first use the indirect function. And with indirect function, you can refer to this range. So you can see it has now become a structured reference, but you need to put it in double quotes. So what it does is instead of referring to this exact thing that you have mentioned, it refers to what this name actually refers to, which is going to be these regions name. So this is my formula. So let me copy this and let's create a drop down in this cell. So I'm going to go to the data tab, then click on the data validation icon, then click on list. And here in source, I'm going to put the indirect function. So instead of putting the structured reference, I'm actually putting it within the indirect function and see what happens when I click OK. It now allows me to create this drop down list. And this is also dynamic, which means that if I come here and if I add a country name, or if I remove a few country names here, this list is going to automatically update. Also, this is going to work in any sheet. So if you have your table in this sheet and you want to create a drop down list in any other sheet, that is also going to work. Now, one important thing to know about this method is that it will break if you change the name of the table or the name of the column. So if you absolutely know that the name of the table or column is not going to change, then you can use this method. But if there is a possibility that there may be a change in the name, then you can use the second method I'm about to show you, which is using named ranges. Another easy way to do this is by creating a named range that refers to this structured reference of this column. So what I'm going to do is go to the formulas tab and here click on define name or you can click on name manager. It opens the name manager here and then click on new. And here within the new name dialog box, I'm going to give this a name. So let's call this region dropdown. So region DD. And within this, I can just use this reference. So because I've already selected these cells, it automatically picks up the structured reference. Otherwise you can manually put it here. And now when I click OK, it has created a named range with the name region DD. Now I can use this named range within the data validation dialog box. So I would go to the data tab here, click on data validation icon, choose list. And here I can say region DD. And now when I click OK, it gives me my drop down list. And again, if you come here and you can check if you add anything, this list is going to automatically expand. Similarly, if you remove a couple of these and then you change the table length, then you will see that this drop down automatically updates and only shows you the regions that are that is what is being referred by the structured reference. And here's a third workaround, which is probably the easiest, but it has one limitation. So here I want to create the drop down list. I go to the data tab, click on this one, then select list. And then I can simply select the cells that I want this uh, drop down to refer to. So you can see I have selected these cells. This is not a structured reference, but when I click OK, it is going to create the drop down list. And if I come here and I add anything to it, 
you will notice that it automatically expands. So this works exactly like the earlier two methods, but the limitation here is that it is only going to work if the Excel table and the drop down list are in the same sheet. If these are on different sheets, then this method is not going to work. It is only going to refer to whatever cells you selected while you were creating the drop down list, but it will not expand or contract as we have seen in the earlier two methods. So if you want to use table structured references within data validation, these are the methods you can use. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Also, if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new Excel tips video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.